Greetings once again, wherever and whenever you may be. Today we're taking a look at a game called V Rising, where we will awaken as a vampire and then hunt for blood, raise a castle, eh, maybe kill some bosses, we'll see. Now, this game does have a, a really good online play. You can play both with friends in a PvE setup and also PvP. Um, at the moment, I have no friends. We'll get to that later. But for now, we're just going to try out some, some PvE. Now there's a ton of game settings. So you can technically make things easier, unlock certain equipment, a lot of cool things. Um, now I haven't really done much of that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to choose standard PvE. Start a new game. So. Once it's finally loaded, which if you are hosting a game for yourself or for your friends, it will take a little bit of time. You gotta make character. Now we're just gonna randomize until we get someone we kind of like the looks of. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? This guy looks both spooky and charming. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll let him come along with us. We'll need a name Xander. We're gonna do a little, little thing here. Name him Vander. Also give him red hair and Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go with this. Space to wake out of this coffin. All right. Now let me introduce you to Vander. Vander Velden here was once a very important leader of the Vampire's Red Court. Right hand to the leader, in fact, until he bit off a little more than he could chew. But that's okay. Off on an adventure to redeem himself. We'll see what shenanigans he's able to get into. Seems I am frail, and there's a skeleton here. Come on, Mr. Skeleton, let's fight. Punch. All right. Thank you for your bones. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Oh, there's one having dash. It's always nice. Ooh. Sun is, is. Yep, I forgot. Vampires. Why is the sun? So we got. Here. So I need five more bones, and then I can make myself. Sword it seems. The bones I can pick up? Yes. Okay, well. Claim that reward. There's a bone sword made. No skeleton, give me a sec, please. I just need to uh Yep. One secundo. Oh, and there's a bigger one coming. Hello. You and what about you? How are you doing, rotting ghoul? Okay, you definitely hit harder. Nope, nope. Okay, so now I need to slay enemies, which I did. One more enemy. Ah, hello, enemy. I require your slaying for my achievement here. Oh, and dang it, skeleton. This skeleton's got amazing accuracy. Come back a bit. Okay, so we'll claim this recipe here. Gets us a bone ring. We'll increase our spell power. That's good. Oh, I do have spells. Alright, well, let's equip the bone ring. Does it equip automatically? It does. Nice. Nice. Uh, okay, so we have Veil of Blood, which dashes, and then my primary attack deals extra damage when I heal. That's pretty nice. 
Shadow Bolt, so uh, projectile attack, it seems. Yep. And Blood Right. Block melee and projectile attacks. Oh. And heals me? That's kind of good. I should probably try to use that here to heal up a bit. Hello, rats. Oh. Don't mind if I do. And also take you, delicious rat. These potions. Blood potions. God. More bones. It seems like everything, or a lot of things, anyway, are struck provide materials for crafting. I would say this is not very nice to the graves, but as an undead, I feel like I'm allowed to. Painter, yep, don't mind me, just taking all your loot. That did not work. Take your bones and I'll take this rat for the road. Oh wait, I'm supposed to be hitting enemies of the shop now. Getting slightly distracted. Uh, but that gets me bone guard vestments and burn cell. Okay, bone guards. So now I can uh, build all this stuff, which is nice. And if I get more bones and plant fiber and rats, I can make a potion that heals. That's nice. down from those ledges skeleton boy you probably contain what I need you yeah, don't hide you even oh me beat on you And why? Can I build both of these? I can. Yeah, we'll make some potions as well. That sounds like a great idea. All right, and what's this blood? Oh. Okay, so I have four percent blood, which means I get like four percent movement speed or something. Not the greatest. It seems like maybe other creature types will give me different things. Axes and cut down tree. Can we make a bone axe? We can. Just do the skeleton. Okay. Ooh, I like to some double axes. Alright, come on, trees. You have to die.
Oh, that's a resilient tree. One trees. I'm yelling timber. Oh, I should I will chase after that deer in a second. Mr. Skeleton, I require your assistance with something. Ooh, skeletons. Yep, skeletons. Bones. There's a mace. Deer just ate that entire shot and took no damage. That's amazing. No, Mr. Skeleton, stay away. I'm trying to destroy this boulder. Alright, you asked for it. I told you to stay away. What have we got? Okay. Castle Heart expand. Uh, for now, though, construct Castle Heart. Okay. Build button. Blood essence. Where am I? I put myself in a corner. Let, let's go along this road. Maybe some humans, some humans will have some more blood essence for me to consume. Hello, animal. Sure, I'll pick up your hide. Ooh, seems like a wolf is fighting somebody over here. That's... Well, I don't want to be a part of that. Oh, 17%? I'll take that. I get... Hmm. I see. Bunnies, got it. Can I attack this? No. Hello. Yeah, let's uh, let's ignore him for. Some of these. Um, map. Bandits. Bandits. I mean, where should I put them? Very large map. It seems like one, two, three, five major areas, and like, oh, is a hidden one? Right, this is hollowed mountains as well. Um, but let's let's get a little of a castle. We'll, we can just put it actually here. 
Yeah, we're pretty close to this way gate. I'm sure there's more way gates somewhere else. But if we put it like, ooh, like maybe like right here. How funny would that be? We'll put it beside some bandits. Like we move into the bandits. Oh. I see. Uh, I thought this was marking road. It's not. It's marking like these rivers. I should find an actual. Well, I guess it's technically marking this. This way. Um, hello, Moose. Oh, hi, Lavala. You, you are scary. Yes, a um, Moose is scary. What's this? Oh, I mean, looks like someone already built the castle here before, but I can put one somewhere here. Eat it. Blood. Essence. Got it. So my castle will last for 40 minutes. Got it. Okay. I can build borders using blood essence. Dang it. I need more blood essence. Killing one of them get me like six. If I murder all these people, I should have enough to build something. Hell of learn. You guys are kind of kind of spicy. But you know what? No, attack me! Dang it! You messed it up. You're supposed to attack me. Oh, no. that's kind of cool. What's this guy? A warrior? And what's this guy? Warrior. Okay. Oh, come here. Mm. How much do I have now? Twenty seven. Oh. Where are you? Oh, Twenty. Moon's piece kind of nice, but with the arrow gets us. Crits? I like that. Oh, this. Okay, Warrior 30. 30 is pretty high. I don't think I'm saying anything higher than that. This is my thing, and then I need her to lay down some foundations. Oh, wait a minute. That is okay. Well, I unlocked this achievement, whatever this did. We run away from this guy for a sec. What the heck? Those are angry at me. Okay. Let's murder these wolves. Then he'll go back to sleep. And we will figure out what we gotta uh, protect our territory by facing palisades. Got it. I take a look. Do I have palisades? I do. I can build four. Wait. Why can I only build four? Well, you know what? Oh, now I'm on fire. Hmm. Really, really. 
appreciate this free end just finding something else to do. Why is it chasing me? Let's take a nap here. For a shift, why didn't it take me down? Was I looking the wrong way, maybe? Okay, waiting for Ally to revive you. <laughs> no allies here. Well, I am alive again. Or, unalive again. As the case may be. Hmm. I see. Being dead, I have lost all. All my blood. There's this other marker I can see here. Hello, Mr. Bear. Uh, no, thank you. I'm a good boy. I don't need to fight a bear. Not today. I will need a better pick, it seems. Also, I've lost all my loot. At least. I did keep my equipment, which is nice. Cannot say that that'll be the case if I was playing PvP, but as that is not what I'm playing, this is fine. I really thought I just saw a troll. A giant terrifying troll to murder me, like this treant is. Alright, at least the sun will be gone soon. still somewhere over there. I'm fine with that. Uh, yes. Uh, place a wooden coffin. Place a wooden stash. Oh, I see. It's a little chest. Oh, the chest like right here. And then a coffin is 180 lumber. Oh, we have to this. And what we'll do is we'll take the logs from there. So we can see what we have on 80. We will just. Oh, outside. Well, what? Oh, okay. 
We'll put you over here. Oh, the sunlight. Oh, I see. So now I can build a workbench. But to build a workbench, I need planks, which I probably need to make a sawmill. Oops, for that, I need more lumber. I see, I see. Well, this game definitely seems very interesting. Especially playing this with friends, playing this PvP, even. And you can have pretty big servers, like 40 plus people. That'd be kind of cool. Plus, judging by the size of this at level 1, you can probably make a fairly big castle. Um, there even seems to be these, like, places that other castles would fit perfectly in. Maybe these are kind of, like, areas that you can be like, hey, this is a great big castle for you to take. Um, but if that is the case, people are probably going to make some pretty cool stuff. Uh, I mean, not the most creative type, so we'll see. But for now, I'll leave you guys with that. 